I'm Dr. Brett Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon, nutrition specialist, and featured BPI sports expert. This leads into now, we talked about in the beginning, what's the difference really between low carb diet and a ketogenic diet. And my definition is in a true ketogenic diet, your body's producing ketones and the ketones are going to help get you over the hump, give you that energy, fuel your brain. So now let's say that we're not in a full ketogenic diet. We're in a modified ketogenic diet. Our body is not producing a lot of ketones, but we're in a great fat burning state. So we're losing weight, but we don't have the ketones. Now comes exogenous sources of ketones, BHP. So let's talk about what BHB is for a second. Right, so uh, there are three types of, of ketones um, that are produced uh, in the liver after your liver glycogen is depleted in this very, very rapid overloading, if you will, fat burning state. Um, the three types are uh, acetone, um, acetoacetate, uh, and beta hydroxybutyrate. That's it, there are three. The reason why, the reason why people have that sweet smell um, on their breasts when they're on a, tra on a traditional ketogenic diet is because you're smelling the acetone. That's what it is. So before we even get into the supplements, so just so people understand, so you follow a low carb diet, you deplete your body of carbohydrates, it gets to the point, your body goes into a state of ketosis, starts turning triglycerides, fats into ketones. Your body uses a source of fuel for your brain because your knee, your brain gets preferential treatment on glucose. Correct. So now it's deprived of a source of glucose. So it supplements with that's, ketones. That's correct. So now going back, we're saying, hey, we're not following a true ketogenic diet or we're doing a modified ketogenic diet or, hey, we just don't want to stay in ketosis all the time. So in a ketogenic diet, your body produces three types of ketones. One of them is BHB. So now we're talking about supplementing with BHB. So let's talk, let's go back. I, I, I derailed you a little, so let's go back to beta hydroxybutyrate. And, and, and it doesn't matter. Again, in my practice, we use a modified ketogenic diet. If you're on a classic traditional ketogenic diet, whatever you want to call it, um, great. Um, all you are doing is um, providing your body, as I said before, with an alternate, maybe a fourth macronutrient, an alternate energy source mm -hmm. um, that potentially, no, that does, potentially has anti-cancer effects, but definitively has neuro, um, neuroprotective effects, again, in the context of Alzheimer's disease and these numerous other um, neurodegenerative uh, dementing uh, illnesses. So you are providing your body an alternate energy source. It's like instead of giving yourself, for those of you who, uh, who grew up, um, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the bodybuilding world, everybody is all about, uh, you know, carbohydrate loading before you go to the gym. Carbohydrate loading before you go to the gym. I would argue and say, depending upon your rep range, and we've had this conversation before, and your goals, I train exclusively on a fast. So what do I use? I use best pre-workout, which has caffeine, beta hydroxybutyrate, so you have a stimulant, caffeine, and you have an energy source okay, um, for the body. So meaning it, the BHB. Meaning the BHB. Um, and it works great. And you get used to training on a fast. It's no problem. You're a lot less sluggish than you are potentially when you eat, you know, when you Bunch eat carbohydrates. Before yeah. workout. Um, so that notion of uh, carb loading and before the marathons or before the endurance, not that I'm an endurance trainer, um, is um, it's basically bunk. I mean, it really is, because particularly in those patients, in those individuals, um, you're not even using those systems. You're using the Oxfos system, so you're not even using carbohydrate. We could talk about that, but I'm just saying that that makes zero sense. Um, we've done that for you. People have done that for eons, but it makes really no sense at all. Wow.